Daily Doom. May 23rd, 2011. It is 1.48 a.m. And we are here looking at radar of the storm that just hit Joplin. So this big storm just went through here and pounded Joplin. But what I want to show you, I want to show you a few things that I'm seeing on this radar that a lot of you may not see when you're looking at stuff. And I want to help record some of this stuff. And, and um, if you want to really see an expert on this, take a look at Dutch Sense YouTube account. He's, he's been doing a lot of research on this as well. But this is just completely obvious here. So we have this huge storm right here, right? Here's what I see. I see a few things as we watch the animation go through here. Look at this part right here. I don't know if you can see my hand or not right here coming through here. This right here is the top of a circle, okay? And notice how the rest of the storm is moving, but that part stays right there, okay? Look at this part right here. There's another top of another circle. And you can see here, but the top here, you can see also you can see, um, let's see how it goes through, boom. You can see these bands. You can see these bands of energy that's coming through. Here's another one right here, another part of a circle. Look at this right here. I want you to watch this little area right here. to create a square boom see the square square stays for a while then it goes off then it goes right here the square goes over here all right it's 215 right now so it's been about another 15 minutes I wanted to really zoom in and show you this here so you can see the top of this circle the side of this circle the side of this circle right here and then watch the square just sort of pop up here in the middle every every frame or so We'll pause it when it comes through. Boom. Nope, it disappeared already. Look at that. Keep going. There we go. So you can see the top edge of the square, the edge of the square right here. So they're shooting at different types of energy. Uh, very, very peculiar. So take a look at it, you know, and I just like to watch this weather. Whether it's in telecast is what I'll use. And um, and if you haven't seen it, you need to check out Dutch Sense's page. He has been predicting a lot of these different storms by watching those exact same rings. Just as we saw on the other page over there when we're looking at our other stream here, when we, when we scroll out from the Midwest here at this one storm, and we look at the big picture, we start seeing stuff in other places. Look, look over Des Moines. There's like a little circle that's happening over here as well. It just pops in. There's that. It looks like another circle part right there. When you start looking at stuff, you start seeing a lot of different things popping up here. And I want to speed up the... Uh, yeah, that right there is obvious right there. You can see one, two, three rings right there. that is square square hmm circle 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 unreal yeah, this is a Dutch Sense video from, uh, when did he release this video? He released this video on the 21st, okay? So he uploaded this a couple days ago. Now watch this. I just want to show you the comparison of his video based on what was happening. So there was this other storm that was a, a totally other deal. This is a totally other deal as well, and those go through and do their thing. But let's watch this. Let's go ahead and unpause this video. It's appearing basically um, almost right over my house, uh, the edge of it. Let's go ahead and wait for it here. There, okay? And if you were to follow this ring all the way, um, it would put an epicenter of it somewhere down near Evansville. What did he say near Evansville, huh? He said near Evansville. Let's look at the IntelliCast right now. Boom, look at Evansville right here. Two days ago. You look at the video right there. Nothing is there. It's completely nothing is there, okay? Completely nothing. Boom, look at this. Huge storm, piss-pounding Evansville right now. So, you know, unbelievable. And you look at the radar from two days ago. Nothing, 
This right here already passes through. This right here cruises on up, hits hits uh hits up north and moves on over. There's nothing right here. So it looks to me as if they are feeding this storm right down here. So, you know, and it just gets bigger and then cruises up and then just nails it. It's just amazing that this force field of energy, whatever it is they're pulsing down there, is is triggering something. It's almost like the chemtrails that they have. They're, they use those as cloud seeders or something. And whatever chemicals and dust particulate that they throw out there, what happens is, is that you know, when they have, get an electric charge, they start collecting moisture, these little dust particles way up in the upper ionosphere and up in the atmosphere, they start getting a charge and start collecting and creating water, creating storms, and gathering electrical charge, and then what happens is, is you end up having a huge freaking storm being created. As evidence, this is two days ago, folks, and you can see what the storm is like right now. This thing has, this thing has been created in some way. There's, there's no way to deny it. It's just sending energy into this huge storm. And if we look at all the storms that are sort of going on, there are a lot of storms. This whole area right here, these whole storms right here, all of these have been fed energy. There's another one popping up right up there, that little storm right there. So sometime up here in, uh, there'll be some, most likely be some rain, be a storm popping up. There's another square. You can see the edge of the square right there. Boom, there's a circle popped up there. Very interesting. And we notice these, these storms are sort of swirling. These are like land hurricanes that are being built. These right here are flowing nicely, but a lot of these are sort of doing this. So, so late at night, you start noticing a lot of these different things popping up. And you can see them all over. And look at all the storms and stuff that's going on. They're just, there's two squares up here. A square here, and then a square right here. And then a circle popping up right here in Bismarck. This is happening right now. This is live video stuff. And they're also feeding this storm right here. And this storm right here is going to be potent enough. You know, there's a military base right here in Fort Smith. There's military bases over here, Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, there's another military base over here, another one right in here. Uh, Richards Gabauer Airport is right up in here in, in Missouri as well. So there's a lot of different places, I think, that they could feed that. And then north, right here, it's literally going right over the New Madrid Fault. Huge, huge storm. So I wanted to show you that. Also... Some of you are saying, "Okay, Daily Doom guy, I get it. Okay, you're you're out there. I don't know what I don't know what you're smoking, but you know, creating weather modification. Are you full of shit? You got to be out of your mind if you think people are gonna are doing stuff about weather. But let's look at this. From uh, from 2008, uh, China aims to control Olympics weather. So they have a way, you know, 2008 to control weather. There's also an article right here on USA Today talking in 2006 where they had ways to manipulate the weather, to create rain or to keep rain away. And and so, you know, this stuff's been around. Nikola Tesla created some technology. You know, if you, if you guys want to do some research on HARP, H-A-A-R-P, I've talked about it in the past, but that is totally what I believe is shooting these waves down here in these different areas. They're sending these waves down through these satellites that are lining up above the United States, shooting it down in the certain areas that they want to create this. Or they're actually using areas here to shoot stuff up from airports or military bases or something. I'm not exactly, it's probably a combo of the both. But what I believe is happening is with the airplanes in the morning when they're creating these chemtrails, they're shooting a lot of dust, they're shooting a lot of chemicals out, little small particulate, little dust par particles out there, and then they shoot these energy things into it, zzz, 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 and boom, it totally charges those little particulates, and, and moisture starts collecting onto those, forming raindrops. And so we're basically seeding clouds with our airplanes uh, when they're doing the little chemtrail stuff, and then we hit it with energy, it, it charges that, so it creates these storms. Then when big storms are created, bzz, 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 they shoot more energy into it, creating even bigger storms. So this storm right here is going to wreck Tennessee, Kentucky, you know, West Virginia, Ohio. It's going to come up, probably come all the way up and hit New York. Big ass storm. So, you know, it's just amazing to me. It's, it's, it's literally amazing to me that we can see blatant examples of this stuff and uh, they just they just show us what's going on here, man. If we pay attention, you see this. Look, the circles are still going. Square's still there. They're just shooting a, a force of energy, and I've been watching it for a while. It's been there. It's still been going. Uh, and it continues. To go. and here's these waves up here that are going as well, so they're kind of interesting little patterns of energy that's being put on there. 
they're not there all the time. So it's not like a storm that's sort of flowing or like uh, a system. You know, it's an energy pattern that's staying in the exact same place for long periods of time. It is not an anomaly. It's something that's actually happening. So it's very bizarre. Pay attention, guys. There's a lot of crazy shit going on out there. And uh, it's the more you know, I think, the better off you are. But uh, so, you know, they're manipulating weather. It's obvious. They figured this shit out. They figured out how to do it. Technology is here. It is undeniable. So the trick is finding out who they is. Who is they? <laughs> I guess you could grammatically say who are they, but, you know, it's they. That is who we's be looking for, man. We's be gotten to find them and say, hey, we's be don't be wanting y'all around, coming around here with your fancy little radar circles. And your big badass storms, man. What's the point? What? They're just flooding this region. Rainstorm after rainstorm after rainstorm. Hmm. Pay attention, guys. If you if you seek knowledge, you start seeing this stuff. This stuff is occurring. Much love to every one of you guys out there. You know that's it's something that's so important. I I believe I live in heart space every day, and I have empathy for the people whose families are getting hurt. And I want, I'm seeking the truth. I want to know who is the one who's responsible for this. Who says, let's, let's create some, uh, some huge weather. Uh, who does this? Who's, who, who pulls the trigger on that? I don't know, but I'm sending them love because they obviously need some love. Uh, whoever's, whoever, whoever's responsible, we ask you to stop doing it. You know, also the bankers who are in control of stuff, give us, give us back our power. Okay. Uh, I'm just at a loss for words here because, you know, when you start seeing stuff like this, it's obvious the storm is continuing, continually moving. Those energy pieces are staying put. It's like one, two, three, four circles with a square on top of it. It's undeniable. It's unbelievable. Doom.